If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker, and today I want to talk about C-stands, or Century Stands, and uh, what that is, is a basic grip equipment you'll find on any professional film set. And you've probably seen them before, they're these kind of large black stand with funny feet on the bottom, and they have a weird arm coming out the top attached to kind of a weird ball type thing that can hold another arm, and they do all kinds of weird stuff, and you see them holding everything on a film set from backdrops to lights to light modifiers. And they're very handy and everybody loves them, but they do have some drawbacks if you're like me in the micro budget film world. And one of them is cost. They run from about 150 to 200 bucks. Not cheap. And uh, if you ever try to fit one of these things into your car, you know how big and unwieldy and heavy they are. They just aren't made to fit into a car that a consumer might drive, opposed to somebody who works on a film set for Hollywood and drives a grip truck where they're easy to put into a truck. If you don't have a truck, that can, that can be a problem. So what do we do if we want to use this type of equipment but can't afford it? Okay, so you may not realize it, but there's already a piece of gear out there that can be used as a C-stand, or at least in a similar manner, and that is this. This is a microphone uh, boom stand. Essentially, it's a mic stand. It comes up from the ground, straight like normal, but then it booms off and does other cool things like this, holding a microphone. That's exactly what it's designed for. And uh, this has uh, application in the film world as well. Let's say you're understaffed and don't have a boom operator and maybe you're doing close-ups or static shots, you can now have a portable boom operator right here that will hold your microphone over your talent. And the fact that it's a boom arm uh, is great because then you can hold your shotgun mic in the proper position, which is over the top pointed at your actor's mouth. Uh, and this will raise up and down so you can put it out of frame um, and adjust everything just how you like it. Uh, and it's great. Another thing you can use this for is if you're doing an interview, let's say, and you don't want your people you're interviewing to wear lav mics like this, because lav mics can have problems with clothing noise, or maybe the people you're interviewing hits the microphone like so, because they don't know they're wearing one, they're not used to it. Uh, you can mic them with uh, the microphone boom stand and shotgun mics, and hold the mics over the top of them, again, aimed at their mouth like you're supposed to, and that will eliminate clothing noise problems and also they'll never in a million years you know, hit that microphone above their head opposed to being on their body. Another thing you should do if you get one of these is to buy this accessory. Now, this is a uh, mic stand to quarter inch adapter and you just screw that right onto your standard mic stand thread. And now you've got a quarter inch male thread at the end of your mic stand here which opens up a world of accessories since that's a universal size, universal thread. All kinds of stuff fits on it. I'm gonna put this on it first. This is sort of a lighting stud with a quarter inch thread on one side and a three eighths inch thread on the other. And uh, now if I wanna put a light on there, uh, I can. However, I don't really have any standard lights as you probably know. So this is also valuable for hanging stuff such as this. This is a china ball or a paper lantern. And a big globe here. What you do with this is you will take a socketed light like this and pretty bright. You put it inside of the china ball here and this acts as diffusion and creates some cheap soft light. It's kind of a very old trick but it's a good one and a tricky part about this however is how do you hang these without a c-stand. C-stands are great for hanging china balls but if you don't have them or if you've tried using the PVC light stand it just hasn't worked well for you because that is tricky and unstable you can use this. You can use the four man c-stand just clip this on the end right here and there you go. It's a great way to hang a china ball. Now one caveat about this of course is that if you've ever used these before you know that these have to hang straight down especially if you're using a hot incandescent bulb because if that bulb gets too hot and touches the side of this paper lantern the whole thing will burst into flame that'll just ruin your shoot right there. So make sure that these are hanging straight down. Now with these uh, the poor man's c-stand doesn't extend as tall as a full real c-stand so this is probably best in seated situations. So the best use I think for this thing is to mount these. This is a LED light. This is my Photo Deox LED 98A that I reviewed a while back. Uh, and as you know, most of these lights have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. So I could go ahead and mount this right to this adapter for an excellent uh, cheap C stand or light stand. Uh, but what if I add this mini ball head to the adapter like so? and then add the LED light. Now I have an LED light that I can move in all kinds of positions because of the flexibility of this mini ball head and then the arm that can move up and down and sideways and backwards and all that stuff. 
and uh, I can do all kinds of stuff like suppose I wanted to top light somebody have a light from above I can do it with this setup or if I wanted to underlight somebody which you could do with a with a normal uh, light stand but you couldn't do the top lighting thing at least not easily without showing the uh, stand in the frame so that's not bad that's just uh, three things I can show you right now that I've done with this uh, poor man C stand if you will uh, and it's not too bad. The price of this is about $20 on eBay, which is about the same price as a normal inexpensive light stand. But this is way more flexible, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, I'd like to hear what you guys have done with this. If you've never used it before, maybe you've got some ideas, you know, share those ideas in the comments below. And as always, everything you've seen in this video, I will have a link to in the description below. And this has been the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month.